Bye, guys. It's been great. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wanted to start by asking you all about what research you did for your respective roles, and how did you go about getting into the head of someone who's experienced a tornado? Well, I think I, for for me at least, I kind of wanted to not really know that much about what I was getting into because I'm, you know, we're we're just teenagers, and obviously we're we're from Oklahoma, so we've experienced this kind of thing before, but we've always been hunkered down in a storm shelter. So I think b beyond the extent of maybe going and looking on YouTube and, and just seeing videos of the kind of things that people say while it's happening and, and just getting some background there, I specifically did not want to know very much because I wanted to feel caught off guard and very vulnerable by by what was happening. So the, the storm chasers, they had a lot more work to do because they had to learn all the meteorology stuff and the yeah. terminology and everything. But uh, for me personally, I, I tried to know very little and just be an ignorant teenager. Yeah, I think the, I think the work that, w that we did coming into it was beyond that, those first YouTube things. It's, it was character things and right. trying to work yes. out. Because, yeah. because uh, Into the Storm takes place over a day. You know, it's the day that the storm hits. Um, you have to get a sense of who these people are. So we needed to know where they were coming from and how they'd arrived at this place. You know, when we meet um, Trey and Donnie and Gary, they're, um, you know, they're a broken family. They've had their own personal disaster and, um, and, and Gary isn't relating to us in the way that he'd maybe like to. He's playing both mum and dad. So it was us doing our own work on that and where we thought this relationship was how it was and then coming back together uh, and kind of, you know, and hearing Richard's thoughts, who Rich would always do five <laughs> times the work you have, uh, which is why it was so great to work with him. You know, yeah. he was so prepared. Uh, Nathan, you mentioned the word teenager a couple of times there. I'm not sure you guys are quite there yet, but oh, we're quite in the teenage years still. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You're all a similar age anyway. Yeah, well, I, mean, I was. I mean, when we shot it, it was two years ago. I was 19 at the time. And I was so 18. I was a teenager. Uh, so you were. So I you was, were similar. I was 23. <laughs> 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 what was the atmosphere like on set? Was there any pranks, any mischief? Not too much. The, oh. I, I feel like just what we were going through was just a massive prank by the crew. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and now we're going to blast you with wind fans. And now there's going to be leaves. You're going to be picking them out of your teeth tonight. So there, I, I think it would have been a little bit too much. Yeah, it was almost like... People would have snapped. Yeah, if you did something wrong, it's, there was more of a chance of you getting really hurt than like <laughs> yeah. suddenly a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. You don't really screw around in those elements that no. much. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good. It was a, we had a good time. Yeah, great time. Yeah. But not particularly and obviously, practical jokes. Everyone was lovely. Um, there's always a host of summer blockbusters that come along uh, in these months, and they've always got big action in them. But I wondered what sets into the storm apart from the other disaster movies like it. Uh, I would say it's definitely. I mean, the found footage element is a strong, huge asset. I think it's, it shows you intimately the storm, but it also brings you in really close to the characters, and and it it makes you feel well into the storm, yeah. if we're going to go there, uh, yeah. which I did. You must. Uh, <laughs> you must. <laughs> you must. 